Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is how to charge your Surface with a USB-C cable. If you've been using a Surface product for a while, then you're probably used to this little cable here, the Surface Charge Connector. But did you know that you can actually charge most Surface products without that connector using a USB-C cable? Now with the Surface Go, that's pretty obvious because on the Surface Go, there's actually a USB-C port on the side and I can plug a cable in with the correct charger and get that USB charging happening for the Surface Go. If you had any other Surface product, like for example, my Surface Pro here, you actually need an accessory, a dongle in a sense, the Surface Connect to USB-C adapter that I have here. So let me get this out of the box. So that's it there. It has a Surface Dock connector on it here, very similar to the Surface Charge connector. And on the other end, it's a bit of a brick, but it actually has a USB-C port. So in my case here, I can take my USB-C cable, plug it into the USB-C port, and then plug this into my Surface Pro, and you'll notice that it's already started charging. So this little Surface Connect USB-C dongle costs around $100 Australian, probably a little bit less in the US. Um, and it's, it is quite large and big, but what it does is it actually enables me to charge my Surface, as in my case, from a battery pack. Now that's normally not possible because of the proprietary Surface connector. So it gives me access to that, and that means that I can charge a Surface product, it could be a Surface laptop, a Surface book, or my Surface Pro directly from a USB-C charger or port. So if you have that in your bag along with your battery pack, then you can be a little bit more mobile with the Surface Pro. And just a little note, when you're charging via USB-C, um, I got a little bit fooled initially with this charging pack. It has two USB-A ports. So I got a USB-A to USB-C cable and plugged it in there. And of course, nothing happened. It wouldn't charge my Surface devices. What I actually needed was a USB-C to USB-C cable so that I could actually plug into the USB-C port on the charging pack and plug that into my Surface Connect or my Surface Go. So it's an important little point to note that your USB-C charging cable needs to be USB-C on both ends. That's that little small connector there. In order to get any of your Surface devices charging via USB-C, you will need a certain type of charger or battery pack to support that charging. The newest USB-C charging standard is called PD or Power Delivery 2.0 and you need a battery pack like mine here that's compatible with that charging standard. It's able to deliver higher voltages and higher amperages through the charger so that it can charge fast enough to support the big batteries that are in these devices. One thing to be aware of with USB-C connectors and cables though, are there are other standards. For example, there's a thing called Thunderbolt with USB-C and Thunderbolt charges at a very high rate, too high for any of these devices. So make sure you never plug a Thunderbolt charger into a standard USB-C port because you can cause damage to devices. So I guess the question is, why would you go to all that expense and bother to get an extra dongle that you can carry around in your bag so that you can plug in a USB-C charger? Well, for me, I wouldn't. I would just use the good old trusty Surface Pro power brick that comes with both a Surface connector charger so that I can charge my Surface and I can charge via USB uh, via a cable coming out of the power brick there. So this is the single charger that I carry with me when I'm traveling. However, some people would prefer to carry just a USB-C only charger that might be a little bit smaller and easier to take with you. And in that case, then you can certainly charge off of the USB-C uh, connector for any of those Surface devices. Or if you have a Surface Go, you can plug in directly. If you found this tip helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips.